What is up, my Nova Kingdom? It's Nova King back again. And today, I you know, I just I literally just finished doing my super my Broly my Dragon Ball Super Broly movie review, which was really long. I saw. I'm sorry, I couldn't contain myself. I've got that out of my system. I'm a little more calm now. There's Robert. Robert's here to calm us, and we're just gonna get through this. <sighs> okay. Now, there is this thing recently on Twitter. I don't really use Twitter, but I, I know of this event because I looked into it and I heard and I saw videos on YouTube about it. There's this lady and she did she put this post and it, it was like hashtag ban Dragon Ball, right? And it was basically a tweet talking about how the show Dragon Ball is just about men who disrespect women and it's just a sh a show of just 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 fill, filled to the brim with toxic masculinity and misogyny and just just you know, sexist sexism and it's just oh my god and she said all that and it's just oh my god and she said that like anybody that supports Dragon Ball is a is a is a sexist. And a, and a misogynist, and that all animation should be banned or something to that effect. And I, I honestly, I just, I was really mad, but like, I also laughed because how can you take that seriously? I mean, honestly, if you've ever watched Dragon Ball, you would know, man, like, oh my god. Like honestly, when I first heard about this, I thought it was it was directed at the Broly movie for some reason. Like I thought, like my first, like I was incorrect, and I thought that this whole thing stemmed from a scene in Dragon Ball Super Broly. So I I kept my eyes open in the Broly movie for anything that could have set some like scary feminist lady off. And the only thing I could really see was I saw like the scene with like how the guys like trying to hit on like trying to get like Chile to join them and stuff. And like Broly comes in and steps in. And I thought like maybe feminists would have had a problem with a big masculine strong man, male, trying to have having to step in and save a woman in in distress or whatever. But I think I was, I think I was incorrect in all that. And I think I think this was just mainly pointed at all of Dragon Ball. I think because she didn't really specifically mention the movie. But honest. But even so, I mean, just she said that. And then the, the 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 beautiful woman, the, the, the amazing woman, uh, Monica Rial, who is an amazing voice voice actress who works from Funimation. She's done lots of roles, many many big roles, and she's just a super good, super amazing voice actress. And uh, and I and, and she plays Bulma. She plays Bulma in the English dub, and and she she replied back to this woman, and she said, and she just basically went off on her. Talking about how like Japan has created some of the strongest female, you know, characters, and that she would know because she voices one of them in that sexist quote unquote show, and I just oh hold on I gotta I gotta put my phone down. Uh. Oh my god! Just round of applause. Seriously, round of applause to Monica because like. Like it's just amazing. I saw that and I was just so happy. Like that's so cool of her. And it's true, like it's absolutely true. Like if you've watched Dragon Ball, if you actually if you actually take the time to watch whatever you're like dissing, which Dragon Ball in this case, um, you would know you're completely incorrect. Like there's a point in the show where a woman, Android 18, like takes Vegeta, one of like the strongest male characters in the show to this day. And at the time in the Android saga, she broke this man's arm like it was a toothpick. Like, <laughs> you're gonna tell me that's sexist? Like, you've got all these. Like, there's so many strong female characters in the show. Like Android 18, she's physically strong. She's stronger than Krillin, her husband. You know, she's a strong fighter, and she was for a very long time, and still is in, in many regards. My brother's listening to music, and it caught me off guard. I'm sorry. <laughs> and like. You've got, like, just... You've got Chi-Chi, who also, back in the day, was doing a fair, her fair share of fighting. She literally, the way she got married to Goku was from a fight that she had with him. The strongest guy in the show! She fought him. And, like, you've got Bulma, who, you know... the You know, because Monica Rial was talking about Bulma. And Bulma's not maybe strong in sense, like, the physical sense of, like, fighting. But she's such a brilliant woman. She's been such an important player in all of Dragon Ball. She's been such an important piece. Like, 
we wouldn't be where we are with Dragon Ball without Bullman. With, you know, the Dragon Radar, you know, the Time Machine, all these different things that she invented, all these things that she did, creating, you know, with her, you know, using her, her mind, her, her extremely, her extreme intelligence, we wouldn't be where we are without Bulma, you know? She has a prowess and, and a, a, a badassery to her when it comes to her sass and her intelligence that knows no bounds, you know? And then, of course, you've got other people too, like um, Videl, who was once a fighter, and and all that stuff, and just, like, there's so many strong women, so many strong, like, characters. You've got Kale and Khalifa saying women who fought in the Tournament of Power, and literally one of them gets, like, super jacked. <laughs> like, Kale turns into, like, Broly, and it's just, oh, man. Like, you... you you're gonna you're gonna tell me what you're gonna watch Kale turn into 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 berserk Kale and tell me tell me that the show's sexist. Okay, um, they fused into Kefla, which was something that fought against like like Ultra Instinct Goku, and it's just it's just wild to me to think that 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 lady could say that. She's so wrong and just it's so stupid. Like it's just so stupid. If she knew even a smidgen of what she was talking about, she wouldn't say that because it's because she'd know the truth. But I mean, honestly, not even Dragon Ball, because I mean, ah, uh, Ichi knows. I'm sorry. Even, even like she shot, she took shots at just anime in general. And you look at anime, and it's created some of the strongest female like characters and like in gaming and in in anime and media in general. Like it's just, oh my goodness! Like you've got Naruto, that's got a lot of strong, you know, female characters in it. Like you know, Tsunade, who is a Hokage, like a physically super strong woman. Um, and many others like Hinata, Sakura, lots of characters in that. Uh, My Hero is another big anime right now. You've got like Uraraka who fought against like Bakugo and went at him with all she had. And you know, all these other, you know, um, Momo who was like super, su super smart with strategy and all that. And like there's all these different like characters in anime that, and they're women and they're so, so strong and they're so independent and they're so amazing in their own right. And yet, this woman is going to say that anime just is sexist and just terrible. And just, it's just, it's so upsetting to me. Like, like I try and stay away from this feminist, you know, garbage that litters, that litters the earth from, occasionally from time to time. But when you involve Dragon Ball in it, you've crossed a line. You've crossed a line. You know, I, you, I, I can't stand idly by and let you do that, okay? It's not okay. You cannot take shots at Dragon Ball and say it's sexist. Mm -mm. Me and Ultra Instinct Goku, if you can... Can you, can you see that? Uh, uh, there he is. Look at him. Ah, he's beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. I got that for Christmas. Amazing. One of the best things I've ever owned. It's amazing. But me and Goku both agree. That it's crazy talk, and it's just, it's wild, and it just upsets me and him both, because it's just so false. So, you know, what to take away from this video? We should take away from this video is, don't be a feminist. It's not okay. Don't be that way. Because you know what? If you're a feminist, most likely, you're not a very nice individual, and you should be nice, because you should be. It's just, you know. Oh my god, it's crazy. You know what? Don't, don't, you know, don't take, you know... Dragon Ball in particular, it's taught me so many things in life, and I know, and it's helped me get through a lot of hard times. I know it's helped a lot of other people around the world get through hard times. So don't look at it and and tell us that it's a show of misogyny and of sexism, when it's taught people all around the world of all genders so many great great lessons. You know that along with every all a lots lots of different other anime. You know, it's just crazy. You know, I think we just look at look at all of anime and just just see the the countless numbers of strong female characters and just and it just just i don't know to see all that and just you know just seeing all that should be enough proof you know <sighs> i i respect the women i respect put some respect on all the women but you know what so does anime so don't be so don't be so don't be going after anime all right you all you feminist people stop it's not okay. Stop right now. Don't make the Nova King have to engage in this matter any more than he already has been. has has to. <laughs> Cause I will come back. And trust me. Don't push me. Oh man. Anyway, thanks for watching this little video. 
I just wanted to kind of get my rant out of the way because it's just so stupid. And I want you guys to know that it's just this whole hashtag ban Dragon Ball thing. It's stupid. Do not listen to it. Be smart. You know, don't do it. <laughs> you know, it, my Nova Kingdom knows better. All right. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching the video as always. Um, if you like the video, you know, and you haven't already, you know, please like, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already joined the Nova Kingdom. It'd be awesome. And yeah, you know, it's that's that's about it. It's Nova King from the Nova Kingdom. Uh, remember to stay positive, enjoy life, just only get one shot at it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> All right, bye guys.